Hey everyone, this is Mr. Wistar again. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to uh, call class methods on the objects that we've created, which is how you really use objects in an object-oriented programming language like Java. So you've seen some examples of this already in some of the earlier labs that you've done, but now it's time to really break it down and talk about what's going on. So just uh, to kind of summarize what we're going to do, we're going to uh, review our understanding of objects and then talk a little bit about the purpose and types of methods that you might be using and then go over the syntax for actually calling methods and you'll see an example uh, that's going to be related to the lab that you're going to do in class. So just to review again, Java is all about using objects. We've talked about objects as being um, made up of both data, which we represent with variables, and behavior, which we represent with methods. And the two of them together create something that has um, definition and uh, you put together all of the different objects in your program and together they work to accomplish the tasks that you want your program to do. So in particular this lesson we're going to be focused on methods which um, again you can think of as the behavior of an object. Another way that a lot of people refer to them are as messages. Uh, if you think about calling a method as sending a message to the object that you're trying to get to do something. Or if you wanted to, you could think of them as being a command that you give to the object in order to get it to do what it is that you want to do. Now there's two basic kinds of methods that we're going to be using in this class. One of them is called an accessor method and the other is called a mutator method. And the way you tell the difference is pretty simple. If the method changes the object in any way, then, as you might guess, we call it a mutator method. Mutating means to change. So anything that's going to um, affect the variables that are inside of the object is considered a mutator method. And on the other hand, if the method doesn't modify the object, then we call it an accessor method. And normally the purpose of those kinds of methods are to get information out of the object. You can think of it as asking the object a question, like what is your name or what is your color or in the case of the example we have here below if you think about a car object if you call its method get amount gas that's an accessor method you're not actually putting gas in the gas tank you're just asking the car how much gas it has on the other hand a method like speed up would be an example of a mutator method because that actually changes the speed of the car if the method was just called get speed, that would be an accessor method. So now that we understand what the different types of methods are, let's look at the syntax for calling a method. And it's the same for any method, um, no matter what you're doing, except for static methods, which we'll cover much, much later. But for any method that's part of a class, you call it by putting the name of the object that you're sending the message to, and then a period and then the name of the method, and then parentheses. And inside the parentheses are where you put all the parameters for that uh, method. We're going to talk about parameters in an upcoming lesson. But uh, there are a bunch of examples down below here. You can see the names of our objects in this case are my balloon, reader, and this is a little harder to tell, but system.out. Um, those two words together make up one object. And so you can see, for example, that we're going to be calling the takeoff method for our balloon, and we're going to be calling the print line method for system.out, with a parameter being the thing to print, and then we're going to be calling next line for the reader object. So let's see a real example of how to use that in a program. I've got a program here, which is pretty much the same as what you're going to be doing in the lab, and I want to take these pseudocode commands and I want to turn them into actual commands. So let's go through them one by one. The name of my object is Roger, and the commands are all listed above. So if I want to tell Roger to take off, I need to say the name of the object, and then the name of a period, and then the name of the method. And then in these case of these methods, there's no parameters, so just empty parentheses and then a semicolon. I have to include all those parts in order for it to work. So that would be how we would take off. Now if we look at each one of these other commands, roger.climb, or sorry, roger.burn, that's how you make a balloon climb, roger.cruise, roger 
Roger dot bent to make the balloon go down. And then finally, Roger dot Notice again, just to kind of review, the most important thing to get out of this lesson is probably the syntax for calling a method. It's the name of the object, followed by a period, followed by the name of the method, followed by parentheses, and then finally a semicolon. So that's about it. Thanks.